Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to discuss the question root to leaf path equal to sum. So the question is, given a binary tree, not a binary search tree, and given a sum, find if there is a path from root to leaf such that the sum of the nodes is equal to this sum. So for, if, for example, if the sum is 26 and if we are given this uh, particular tree, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 11 is 26. So this tree should return me 26 and it should also return me the path on which it found this sum 26. So let's see how this works. We start from root, we have sum 26 here. We check if this node is a leaf or not. This node is not a leaf. So it will first try and go on its left side if it exists. So on the left side, it will pass 26 minus 10, 16. So it subtracts itself from the sum and whatever is remaining, it passes on the left side. So 16. So 16 first checks if this is a leaf or not. This is not a leaf and it doesn't have a left. So, but it does have a right. So what it does is passes 16 minus 16, so zero to this guy. So again, it subtracted itself from the sum. So whatever is remaining zero is passed down to right. Now this is a leaf and the value here in the leaf is not same as zero. So this particular root, root to leaf path doesn't sum to 26. Otherwise, this value would have been same as this value. So this returns false to the calling function. So 16 got false from its left side because left did not exist and it got false from the right side. So it returns false to this guy, 10. So 10 knows that there is no path from on the left side which sums to 26. So 10 will try to find it on the right side. So 10 again passes 16 to the right side. 5 again is not a leaf node. So it subtracts itself from 16. So 11 is remaining. So it passes 11 here. Again, 6. Now 6 is a leaf node, but the value at 6 is not same as 11. So this particular path 10, 5, and 6 does not sum to 26. So 6 returns false to 5. So 5 got a false from 6. So it got to look on its right side. So it goes here and passes 11 again on the right side. Now this value is same as this value. It means that we found a path 10, 5, 11 such that the sum is 26. So we store 11 in the final result and we also pass true to this guy. 5 got a true from its right side. So it knows that it is on, its path, on this path from root to leaf such that the sum is 26. So it stores itself into the final result and it passes 10 here. It passes true here. So 10 got true from its right side. So 10 knows it's in, it's in the path and it passes true to the calling function. So the final result is uh, 10, 5 and 11. The sum of it is 26 and this, this function returns true. How much time does it take to execute this function? Since we are looking at all the nodes, the total time to execute this is O of n. Next, let's look at the code for this function. All right, so this is the code for a root to leaf sum. So as you can see, it's a recursive code. The name of the function is root to leaf, it leaf sum. It returns uh, true if it did find the sum from root to leaf. Otherwise it returned false. This is my root of my tree and this is the sum and result is a list which is going to store my final result. So let's see how this works for our example sum and this uh, same tree as we looked in the example. So we start from root 10. So root is 10. My sum is 26. Uh, line number is going to indicate that I went on the left or I went on the right. So root is, uh, root is not null. So we go into this. This check only is valid if it's a leaf node because we are checking root left is null and root right is null. So root 10 is not a leaf node. So we go here, we go into its left side of the recursion. So we are saying that we went into left from line number one and uh, we, we go to roots uh, 10's left and we pass sum minus root data. So we go to 16 and we are passing 16 to this guy. So root is now 16 and sum is also 16 and root is not null, root is not a leaf node. So we again go here, we go into 16's left. So 16's left is null and we passed it uh, six, uh, zero. Sum minus root data, so 16 minus 16 is zero. 
So we come here, root is null, so it returns false with the calling function. So 16 gets false from its left side. So uh, 16 gets false from its left side, so this if returns false. So we go into this if, and we try to uh, see if we can find the sum on the right side of 16. So we again go to the right, 16's right, so that's minus 3. And we again pass 0. So root is minus 3 now. Minus 3 is not null. It is a leaf node, so because it's left and right, both are null. Minus 3 is left and right is null. Root data is sum. So minus sum is 0, root data is minus 3. So they're not same. So we go to this else and return false. So this is done and 16 gets false from both his left and its right. So 16 doesn't go into any of this if and it returns false. So 16 returns false to 10. So 10 gets uh, false from its left side. So 10 gets false from here. So it, it goes into this if, tries to execute this if, and we go into the uh, right side of 10 from line number two. So 10 now calls five and it again passes sum, which is 26 at 10 minus root data, so 16 to uh, 5. So now our new root is 5. 5 is not null. 5 is not a leaf. So 5 goes to its left and uh, from line number 1. And it uh, calls, so 5's left is 6. So the new root is 6. The sum it passes is uh, 16, minus, uh, 16 minus 5, so 11. And uh, so new root is uh, 6, 6 is not null, it is a leaf node, so we ch again check root data is sum. Root data is uh, 6 and sum is 11, so it's not, so we, get, we return false. So 5, it returns false to the, uh, to the call function where 5 was the root. So 5 gets false from the left, and then it goes on to its right from the uh, line number 2. So here, uh, 5 goes here and it passes, so the new root is 11 and it passes 16 minus 5, 11. So now our new root is 11, our sum is 11 because uh, uh, 5 passed uh, 16 minus 5, 11 to this guy. So root is 11, it's not null, it's a leaf node. Root data, which is 11, is same as sum, which is 11. So we add the result. So in the result, we add 11. This is our result. Uh, uh, it's a result array, it's a result list, and we also return true. So 11 returns true to 5, so 5 gets true from, uh, 5 gets true from its right side. So we are here in the 5, when the 5 is root, so it got this is true. So what it does is it adds itself into the it adds itself into the result.add, so it adds itself 5 here, and it returns true to the calling function, so 10. So we were executing line number 2 of 10, it also got true from its right side, so it adds itself into the final result, and it returns true to the calling function. So the function which called this function gets true, and in the result it gets 11, 5 and 10. Note how it's uh, this path is returning for leaf to root. If you want root to leaf, all you have to do is reverse this list. If you want to check out the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com user to 2525. Thanks for watching this video.